Hello everybody, welcome back for another soul-killing, madness-inducing clip from the Democrat State Media Complex. But before we get to that, I invite you to hit that like button and subscribe so you can keep up with my daily battle against what has become a real ministry of information. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today comes as the Democrat Party has begun just casually referring to their political opposition, tens of millions of Americans, as white supremacists and even domestic terrorists. At the same time that big tech is is censoring and crushing the Democrats' political opposition at the same time that DHS has issued a National Terrorism Advisory Bulletin, even though they admit that there's no information to indicate a specific credible plot, saying, quote, DHS does not have any information to indicate a specific credible plot. However, violent riots have continued in recent days, and we remain concerned that individuals frustrated with the exercise of governmental authority and the presidential transition, as well as other perceived grievances and ideological causes fueled by false narratives could continue to mobilize in broad range of ideological motivated actors to incite or commit violence. Alrighty then. Well, that entire statement is incredibly nefarious and disturbing. Not least of which for implying that the government is somehow the ultimate arbiter of what is a false narrative. I, I wouldn't waste my breath with them. And I'd say to the Democrats, it's time to roll out a terrorism era choice for for republicans and this should come from every democrat you're either with them or with us miles is talking about is exactly right if you took what president trump said and you instead put it in Amwar alaki's mouth we would be talking about a drone strike excuse me uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say I mean, he didn't come right out and say that we should drone strike Donald Trump, but that's exactly what he was intentionally implying. In my opinion, Trump has never said anything that rises to the level of incitement, much less domestic terrorism. He uses heated rhetoric that's been common in politics for decades, but for some odd reason, the Democrats, the left, and their media are never held to this standard. As Rand Paul so brilliantly pointed out this past Tuesday, for years we've watched left-wing violence hot on the heels of rhetoric coming from the Democrats and their media. It impeach people who incite violence. I have a question. Are they going to impeach Bernie Sanders? You remember the guy who shot Steve Scalise? Steve Scalise almost died. I was there at the ball field when he was shot. The guy was a rabid Bernie Sanders supporter. And you remember what Democrats were saying at the time? They were saying Republicans' health care plan is you get sick and then you die. That sounds like an incitement. If you're telling people that the Republican Party is going to kill you, why wouldn't you then react violently and say we must kill them before they kill us? Are they ever accused of inciting violence? No, they're not, and people like me have been wildly flailing about these contradictions for years. As I mentioned earlier, all of this is happening while insanity is apparently gripping the Democrat Party. Nancy Pelosi and AOC have come out and outright accused elected Republican congressmen of being domestic terrorist threats. AOC suggested that Republicans were trying to have her murdered. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a completely insane conspiracy theory. Hillary Clinton even suggested that a Republican be put on the terrorist watch list. This from a lady who once said, I'm sick and tired of people who say that if you debate and you disagree with this administration, somehow you're not patriotic and we should stand up and say we are Americans and we have a right to debate and disagree with any administration. It's pretty obvious to see that their attacks over the years against people that they disagree with as racists has lost its punch. So they had to ratchet up the rhetoric to white supremacists, and now they're just going straight to domestic terrorists. All those people that they couldn't beat in the arena of ideas or at the ballot box, they're just now going to call terrorists, put them on a list, and lock them up at Gitmo. These people literally think that they get to pick and choose who has a voice and what points of view are allowed in the public discourse. This is way, way beyond beyond dangerous at this point, a country that isn't unified will fall. Unless we all stick together and fight back against this, they're going to target us all eventually. You can help me in this fight by liking and sharing this video. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.